Hey guys, it's Paul Tarsi Foam Fighters. Welcome back. Um, getting back into the MP UAV. I know it's been a little while, but we've had a lot of crazy weather probably over the last month, so I haven't been able to get out and uh, do the maiden flights. Um, but basically, I did finish the plane up. I did a real quick camouflage job. <laughs> it didn't stick too good to the tape I had over the aileron or elevons, uh, but otherwise, I think it should be good to go. Um, the CG, it seemed like it was still a little bit hard to get where I wanted it, so I had to add a little bit of weight in there, so I added some weight up in the nose, um, basically about two ounces. Um, we're gonna be running on a 2200 um, 3S LiPo pack, and it does only have the 2212.6 motor, that's rated at 2200 kV, running a six by four prop. Um, basically that's it, so we're gonna throw it in the air. We got roughly about five mile an hour winds, so hopefully it'll be a little calmer, and hopefully this thing will at least get a main flight in. So let's see how it goes. Right on. How's it feel, Paul? It feels a little twitchy, actually. In what kind of way? I think I might still be a little tail heavy. Really? Do a glide test. Is it nosing down? Yeah, I guess it, maybe not. There's just a... That launch looked like it went pretty good, man. Nice and smooth. Oh, it feels like the wind's catching it a little bit. Let's see. Oh, it just feels, it feels a little weird in the air. I don't know, I just don't feel super solid. You might actually need to put the CG a little farther forward. I mean, you just put a little up reflex in the yeah. elevons. I think it might have, might just be the wind gust. You know, when the wind calms down, it feels a little better. I think that just big body is catching the air. So does it feel like floaty then? or like, Yeah. Like I'm barely even on the throttle. Do you think you can load it up with FPV gear then? I think so. It may need a little bit bigger vertical stabilizers. Yeah, it could be that open mouth in the front yeah. too. Is, uh, yeah, it's hitting a lot of air. A bit. Yeah, I can feel the wind gusting now. It actually feels like it might be a little bit stronger than five miles an hour when it gusts. Yeah, that definitely feels faster right now. Yeah. Well, at least it's flying. <laughs> right by the field goal. <laughs> yeah, that's our catch, catch net, man. <laughs> Coming at you. Yeah, it does with a little bit of speed. Yeah, see the wind cat catch it there? Is it making it wiggle like that? Yeah, it almost it like kind of caught it and almost flipped it. <laughs> well it does have a pretty big wing area, so you know the weight for its wing size might still be kind of actually light. Yeah, you wing probably loading. have low wing load. Yeah, because even when I was just holding it in my hand, you know, kind of tossing it lightly in the wind, it was like almost ready to glide. But it's actually pretty heavy with, even with the weight that I stuck in there, it's about 27 ounces. But it does have quite a bit of wing area. What is the wingspan on that, you remember? Um, shoot. Is it over 30? It it's like over 30 inches, I think. I forget what I bumped it up to. But I think it's basically got the largest wingspan or wing area out of all the foam board planes I've built so far. And then you got the KF2 on there yeah. too. So actually, I think this one might need a little more weight. Well, that'd be good though. Make it stable. Load it up with some FPV yeah. stuff. Bigger battery. Put a GoPro in the nose or something. You said you got weight in the nose already, right? Yeah. Put three so. ounces, uh, what, two or three ounces in there? Yeah. Something like that. 
So if you took that weight out, you could probably put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Let's see. There's glide. Yeah, see, that's about right. Yeah, it's nosing down gently. Yeah. Yeah, I hate, put a little trim in it from when I originally started flying. Up or down? Uh, I needed to do a little up. It actually glides pretty nice, I think. With the lighter weight, I think it definitely needs to be uh, flown only on calm days. If loaded it up, I think it'd be more stable. Well, you can feel the wind kind of grabbing it. How's it feel wise, power wise? With, uh, with this power setup, it's not super powerful. I think it would handle the extra weight with that motor. Uh, with this motor, uh, you probably add maybe a couple ounces. It's definitely not going to be a fast flyer. But I think, you know, if you put some FPV gear in there, it might be pretty cool for FPV plane. Look at it just glide. Whew. And that was going with the wind. Let's see. That's the end of the wind. Woo! <laughs> stalled. You're at six minutes. Okay. I'm gonna bring it around the other way and then I'll bring it. Let's see which way is the wind blowing now. You're going into it now, I think. I feel either that or it's coming towards us from in front of us. Yeah, so I gotta basically come from behind the wind into the wind. I'll bring it in sideways, I believe. Yeah, because there's trees behind us. Oh, flared nice. Nice, man. <laughs> okay, guys. That's one thing I do like about well, deltas. It looks like the redesign looks like it's flying. Um, there is a couple of things I want to adjust that I noticed when I was building this one. So I'll probably make one more version before I make final plans. And I'm probably also going to try and make F, um, one with the EDF uh, duck fan in it. That'd probably cool. 70 millimeter. So Awesome. Thanks for watching.